winning the Super Bowl, period. But back-to-back Super Bowls that the Kansas City Chiefs is trying to achieve this year is super hard achievement. But that's the task on hand for the defending Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, right? Uh, starting off, Thursday night football coming up September 7th. The NFL is expecting the Detroit Lions to have a big year. They're expecting big things out of the Detroit Lions. Now, why do you say that, Mr. Pick Six? Why do you say that? Because on Thursday night football, they could have picked any NFL team to play against the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, but they decide to choose Detroit Lions to play in front of everybody. The only game on national television that everybody's going to watch, be watching, right? Not the most popular team in the NFL, but definitely an up-and-coming team. We know in the past, they used to just plan on thir- Thanksgiving night, whether that's Thursday night or whatever. Usually, you know, it's kind of around Thursday night. But their main game and their most exposure came from playing on Thanksgiving. So now this is a big opportunity, you know. They barely missed the playoffs last year. And y'all don't remember, uh, they they finished 9-8 and eight last year, but they beat the Packers the last game of the season, giving themselves a chance to be eligible for the playoffs. But... They was eliminated because of another team. But that shows you, you know, that they ended off the the season well and they come in with a little momentum. And now that Aaron Rodgers have left the division, they, the Detroit Lions, are the favorites to win the division or lead the division, right? Head coach Dan Campbell and GM Brad Holmes are doing a hell of a job turning things around up there. I mean, the culture and making it a winning environment, uh, the mentality, I guess, you know, this ain't the old Detroit Lions. They first came in their 2021-22 season, and then the Detroit Lions finished 3-13. and Of course, that was last in the division. Then last year, the 2022-2023 season, they finished 9-8. and Big turnaround. So they're doing a, a pretty good job. And now that Aaron Rodgers is gone, they're probably going to run through that division. That's what everybody expected, especially in the NFL. That's why they're showing up Thursday night. But first... They got to get through the defending Super Bowl champs, right? And the Super Bowl defending champs are trying to repeat, meaning winning back-to-back Super Bowls. But this is an opportunity for the Lions to set the tempo for the season. Like I said, this ain't on Thanksgiving. This is in front of national television in front of everybody. So they have an opportunity to go out there and beat the, the Super Bowl, defending Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, the first game of the season. That's a lot of momentum. That's a lot of good energy that we're putting into our team. I'm expecting the Lions to go out there and really challenge the Kansas City Chiefs. Even though it's going to be an uphill battle, we're going to see a pretty good game. We'll see. The Lions are definitely a team that's trending up. They have momentum from last year, like I said, when they beat uh, Green Bay Packers last year when they was uh, trying to go to the playoffs. Nobody was expecting that. But the Lions did it. Almost made it to the playoffs. They was one game away from a team beating somebody else. All right. The only issue, like you said, they playing, if not the most explosive team in the NFL, the second most explosive team in the NFL. And now we know teams in the NFL are very, very explosive. So they got to play these Kansas City Chiefs led by Patrick Mahone, the great Patrick Mahone. You know, Patrick Mahone and Andy Reid is considered one of the best duos combination, quarterback, officer coordinator, head coach combination to ever play the game. Only people that can challenge him is from offensive mind is Bill Walsh and Joe Montana, who we was previously talking about, right? Let me put this in perspective for you. Patrick Mahomes could potentially have more passing yards than Donovan McNabb had in his whole career. Patrick Mahomes couldn't do that this year. Patrick Mahomes has 192 touchdown passes as of now. And Donovan McNabb, who also played for a very long time with Coach Reed, has 234 touchdown passes. So give or take 40, 40 something passes away. That says a lot. Mahomes going into his seventh, eighth season has an opportunity to have passed Donovan McNabb in touchdown passes. That is going to say a lot. All, uh, we all know Coach Reed is considered an offensive genius. He considered, I mean, he pioneered offensive schemes and things like that nature into the NFL, and that's why he's known as a genius in the NFL, you know, on the offensive side. But with the task at hand, them trying to win a Super Bowl, back-to-back Super Bowls, being that I'm a part of the last back-to-back Super Bowl champion winning team, you know, that hasn't been done in 20 years. These are the things that they're going to encounter and they're going to have to deal with in order 
to achieve their goal. First and foremost, winning back-to-back Super Bowls is extremely challenging. And like I said, obviously, I'm here to talk about it because I was one of the people part of that team winning back-to-back Super Bowls, right? But these are some of the things that you will encounter trying to win back-to-back Super Bowls because everybody don't want you to do it, right? You're not going to get everybody's A game or B game or even C game. You're getting everybody's A plus game. When they come to play you, everybody is hyped. This it, this is their, basically their Super Bowl. This is how they feel about the situation. So they are coming to play this game like it's a Super Bowl. Nobody wants to be responsible or have anything to do with you repeating Super Bowls or letting you beat them and continue that path to winning back-to-back Super Bowls. So they don't want to be on that record. They're playing with that chip on their shoulder. Everything is against you, right? Then you got to deal with the schedule, not the division game. The NFL will give you the hardest potential schedule because they want someone else to win the Super Bowl. So here go some non-division games that the Kansas City Chiefs have to play. The Jets, the Browns with Deshaun Watson, the Eagles, the Patriots, the Bengals, the Explosive Bills, and the Dolphins. These are some teams that I think pose a major threat to the Chiefs. You know, they got them on their schedule, so they got to play each other. Injuries. In the first Super Bowl, it seemed like everybody was getting hurt. I mean, Ty Law, Rodney Harrison, Tyrone Poole. I mean, it was so many players that had to come in and and replace players and and things of that nature. So you got to, your backups got to be ready. They got to be ready to come in and not miss a heartbeat, not miss a step ready to perform at a high level, just as the starter was, right? They got to be ready to do their thing. Adversity. Adversity is going to come every which way you can imagine from any way, right? From the owners, the NFL, PA, the refs, the media. It's, it's going to be adversity everywhere. It's going to be created. It's going to be non-genuine adversity. Things just coming out of nowhere that you can't even explain or understand how or why are people talking about this that might not even be true? The media will be quick to talk down on you. As soon as things ain't going right, that's going to be the biggest challenge. They're going to create so much loud commotion and have everybody whispering to each other. You got to be able to overcome that and block that noise out, right? Because that's going to be the story. What happened to the Kansas City Chiefs, the defending Super Bowl champions, right? So you got to be able to block the noise out. But blocking the noise out, too, can mean winning home field advantage. That's an important part of winning back-to-back Super Bowls. That is the most important part, in my opinion. Because winning home field advantage helps block all the chaos, the noise, uh, the confusion, and all those things out because you're used to playing at home, right? And you're used to doing things your way and your field. And it just makes everything more comfortable and more satisfying when you get that, that victory home field with the fans and, and the people you love, right? But all in all, the first week is the most unpredictable week in the NFL. We don't know what's going to happen and what's going to transpire out there on the NFL. But one thing I do expect, and I know everybody expects, we expect the Kansas City Chiefs to come out there and be explosive. Andy Reid is going to come around, come out there throwing that ball and slinging that ball like he usually do on their quest to winning back-to-back Super Bowls. But Detroit Lions, a legitimate team standing in the path that was selected to play on Thursday night football, will be there and they will be ready. What is going to be the outcome of this game? You know, I made a prediction, you know, bold prediction. I said Kansas City will win this game by 17. They're playing in Kansas City, Super Bowl defending champions against an up-and-coming Detroit Lions. Let's see how that goes.